Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive? Always. What are we looking at today? All right, so someone sent in their notes on a potential disc golf course location. Mueller Lake Park, right here in Austin. Ooh, interesting. I know that park, it's pretty popular. Lots going on. Yeah, that's what makes this deep dive so interesting. They wanted to see if Mueller could be, you know, disc golf savvy. I like that, disc golf savvy. So did they think it had potential? Oh yeah, big time. Right off the bat, they were super stoked about the wide open fields, some decent hills, even some nicely landscaped areas. It seemed like you could get some really creative and challenging holes in there. Yeah, I could see that. You could get some good distance on those open holes. And the hills could make for some fun elevation changes. <laughs> totally. In fact, they even had the first few holes kind of sketched out. Hole one, they were going to use the natural headwind coming off the lake to make things extra tricky. Oh, sneaky. Gotta love a good headwind challenge. Right. Then hole two, there's this nice downhill slope that could have been perfect for some roller throws. You know, where the disc stays low to the ground and just zips along. Oh yeah, love a good roller. So, sounds like things were going pretty well so far. What happened? Well, there was a little note here about a sidewalk obla on hole three. Not sure exactly what that means. Sidewalk obstacle probably means they had to design the hole around a sidewalk cutting through the fairway, which honestly isn't that uncommon. Right. You gotta work with what you've got. Absolutely. But that sidewalk obstacle, it's like a little foreshadowing of a much bigger issue that starts to pop up. Oh, let's hear it. Well, whole four's notes start talking about having to adjust the design because of foot traffic, lots of people walking around, and then hole five. That's where the disc golf dream kind of crashes and burns. What happened at hole five? They wanted to put the basket up on this sweet hilltop. Great view, you know? Problem is the whole hill was covered in people just chilling out, enjoying the park. Ouch. Yeah, I see the problem. Too many people. Exactly. And it just kept getting worse from there. Every potential hole, there were people picnicking, kids playing, folks just walking their dogs, uh, you know, doing regular park stuff. And that brings up a huge disc golf design principle. Which is? Make use of unused areas. You want to find those spots in a park that aren't getting a ton of use already. Places where you can put in a disc golf course without disrupting the flow of the park or even more importantly, putting anyone at risk. Safety first, for sure. Yeah. But I gotta ask, isn't there any way to make disc golf work in a busy park? Like what about restricting play during peak hours? Or creating dedicated disc golf zones? I mean, it's not impossible, but it takes a ton of planning and you gotta get the community on board. You're talking about clear boundaries, maybe even physical barriers to separate disc golfers from other park users. And you gotta be super careful about how people are moving through the space to avoid any, you know, accidental collisions. Yeah, it makes sense. It sounds like more trouble than it's worth in a spot like Moeller. Right. And this all comes back to the idea of disc golf savvy. You know, it's not just about finding a park with some open space. It's about finding a space that can handle disc golf without messing up the vibe of the park or putting anyone at risk. I hear that. So even though Mueller Lake Park was a no-go for disc golf, it sounds like a pretty awesome park otherwise. Yeah. Your notes even mentioned how much you enjoyed the atmosphere there. That vibrant blue water, the chill vibes, families having fun at the playground. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mueller's a great park. It's just not, you know, disc golf savvy. So the verdict's in. Mueller Lake Park, great place to hang out, but mm not the spot for a disc golf course. Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, yeah. And you know, this whole deep dive really highlights how crucial it is to do your homework when you're designing a course. What might look like a slam dunk location could easily be ruled out by something like foot traffic or the way the park is already being used. For sure, it's all about finding the right fit. And that's something for all you disc golf fans out there to keep in mind. What other factors might make or break a potential course location? Terrain, vegetation, even noise levels. It's all part of the puzzle. So. Keep those things in mind if you search for your perfect disc golf spot. Happy hunting.